I thought um, for 65 minutes, 65, maybe 70 minutes, considering the, the last two weeks that we've had, which have been very challenging, um, I was delighted with most of, of what I saw. I thought we scored a, a very good goal, um, uh, counter-attack with, with pace. Um, and, then it, and, and I think we restricted them to minimal opportunities. I mean, they, these are a side that have been together a long time. They play away, very um, offence offensive orientated work a front two or a front three um, but I thought we limited them to, to minimal chances hit the crossbar I know that um, but so so overall for that period of time I was delighted um, how it felt to me was that we ran out of legs at the end and um, we've had players that have, that have had to miss a fair bit of training that, that, that played and players that haven't played as many minutes in, in the pre-season and it probably just showed in the end. I was going to mention the, the fact that you have been so disrupted and, and only had the three friendlies, haven't played for, what is it, just over two weeks now, mm. isn't it, that you haven't played for, but I guess behind the scenes as well, like you say, players missing training and stuff like that, that has an effect at this stage of the season. Mm. Yeah, and it's been very challenging and, and, and probably, you know, if I look at the two, the two goals that we conceded, I think if that's earlier in the game and we're a bit fresher, I don't think we concede either of them goals. And that's what happens when, when you get into that stage of the game. We've had the period of time that we've had. You're up against a team that are playing at home, the home crowd behind them. And, and of course, have got that bit of momentum in their game. And in the end, it was, it was about, you know, could we hold out? Uh, I, I felt we would and I, and, I, and, and I still feel that overall, uh, you know, if we've kept it a 1-1, I think it, it's a, a result that uh, we would have deserved. Um, but, say, in the end, I think uh, it just got the better of us. That idea, Chris, of, of having to hold on at the end and, uh, you know, not necessarily being able to go for a, a second goal to, to kind of wrap things up, was that out of necessity because of, you know, the, the state of the fitness of your... Yeah, I think it's, it's necessity. I mean... We did have the good chance just um, just on half time, uh, of course, through Brennan, and, and that you know certainly changes things and changes that little that little bit of momentum. Um, but yes, I mean at, at that stage, I knew where we were. I knew where we were as regards you know being able to sort of make make them changes and, and freshening up. And you know when uh, Alal Taylor, who I thought was for large parts of the game very good today. But when I know that he's getting cramped towards the end, and you know we don't have that natural number nine, you know that's that's the going to take his place, then I know at that stage it's about making sure that we keep a good shape, limit them to chances, and and of course play on the counter attack. And uh, you just hope at that stage that, that there's enough that there's enough legs in the team that can that can do that and and possibly break away and get something. You mentioned the goal earlier on. I mean, it was a, it was a great goal, wasn't it? And, uh, and I just wonder, I was kind of thinking about last season and how you were talking about wanting more spark mm. and creativity in the final third so often. That's what we missed, wasn't it? Uh, yes, it's what, it's what we missed. And uh, no, I mean, a, a fabulous goal and I, I, I haven't seen it again. Um, but it's, it's the type of goals that you want. We need uh, everybody to contribute. Contribute to what we can do offensively because um, we've said it enough times that was the year of last year where we didn't do well enough um, so but uh, and of course if if um, and it was a good save by the way if Brennan you know gets that second one for us then then you know, then maybe maybe this is too big an uphill battle for them to to get to uh, but unfortunately we didn't and of course that gives them that little bit of life still what about players who were missing today, Chris? Some of them, I mean, big names for you. No Joe Wall, no Lewis Graben. How were they? What's, what's the matter? Uh, well, Lewis is still uh, this moment isolating at um, this moment. Um, the Costa um, just on his way back from uh, a, a groin injury. And, um, uh, and also Joe, Joe, um, Joe Worrell, who um, just felt his calf, and this was only a few days ago, which is which is a real blow for us. So Lower Cumbe so started. I mean, I don't really mind on anyway. I'm not yes. Trying to read your mind, but Lower Cumbe so did start today. Got injured after a, a, what looked a really good first half. Yes. Yeah. And and I was delighted with him um, for what he'd done, and it was a this was a good opportunity for him, of course, to to play at centre half. Um, but unfortunately, we'll, we'll see how he is. He's felt his groin had to come off. Um, 
at the moment you you always think the worst, particularly when it's a, a, a muscle strain. But obviously we'll see how it is tomorrow. Um, Philip Sinkadago got a run in the second half. Tell us about him, Chris. The first time we've had to, uh, first chance we've had to talk to you about your new signing. What do you like about? Yeah, him? well we chased him for for a while and it's taken um, a little bit to, to get him. Um, he, he's an, an offensive threat, can play anywhere across the, the front on that right hand side where I think predominantly before he went to Watford he played more but certainly can play as a 10 and on that left hand side so I think he'll, get, he'll give us some, some really good offensive quality um, you know, either you know, potentially scoring goals or, or you know, assisting them and uh, you know, that's certainly the type of player that we want to bring in. Um, but we need more, we know that. Yeah, I was going to say, we're looking for more. Uh, any on the horizon, do you think? No, we're just working as hard as we can in, in the best way that, uh, that we can. Um, but we are aware that um, you know, for, for us to be a, a competitive team this season, is that, you know, we need a competitive squad. You know, particularly when you know, you're looking at you know, a game today where we've picked up you know, one injury, these are going to happen and you, we've got to make sure that we've got a competitive squad. How far short do you think you are, Chris? I mean, obviously today with what we've talked about, with the players who are missing you, you're probably even further short. But how far generally do you think you are short? Um, well, I mean, firstly, it's, it's, we, we do want to run off a, a tighter squad than, than perhaps what we have in the past, um, but we, we you know, need to bring players in. You know, and I, I don't want to talk about particular numbers, but but you know to make this squad competitive, um, we need to make sure that um, you know we've got a competitive squad, and that still means to bring in a few.